Gates go back. They are off and racing from that 1800 meter marker. Not a bad start for them. Let's give them a chance to settle down. Up there, right on speed, is Diamond as well as Gold Jet. They want to be prominent. It's Lucky 13, the black, who races in third. Princess of Bayou is now racing in fourth. And then comes English Mistress, who's in fifth. Sansa Stark, the white and blue, about five and a half lengths off the leader, Million Dollar Girl. And out back is Wedding Bells, and that's about six or seven lengths off the leader. So in front is Gold Jet, goes off to lead them. Done some work to get there. Princess of Bayou is now racing in second. In third is Diamond. Mondia. Lucky 13 is racing with the black in fourth. Then comes English Mistress. Sansa Stark has got about seven lengths to make up and Million Dollar Girl with Wedding Bells. They the back marker. They'll get to know each other well. About eight lengths off the leader. No turning back for Gold Jet. Has been given a bit more rain. Goes two lengths clear. Princess of Bayou's in second. They five lengths away. Two Diamondios in third. Lucky 13 is a bit awkward on the turn. English Mistress is racing with the green. Then comes Sansa Stark. Stark. Richard Faris on the improve and now racing four wide past the 800. Then comes Million Dollar Girl and Wedding Bells is the back marker. For now it's Gold Jet who turns in line for home but Princess of Bayou is quick to go past that and Princess of Bayou is now two lengths in front. Of in second Gold Jet. Diamond is in third. English Mistress Sansa Stark. They still got five lengths to make up. They went past the 350 and Princess of Bayou is on its bike. Has gone four or five lens clear. In second is English Mistress, Sansa Stark and Wedding Bells. They're running on but they need to get to Princess of Bayou. Princess of Bayou has set sail for home at exactly the right time and Princess of Bayou a nice win. English Mistress in second, Wedding Bells in third and Sansa Stark in fourth. Out of the Cesar Me Cornelia she ran four and a half lengths behind Lickety Split last time out. But today just had the right run in transit. Ashton Aries, you have to say, a very good ride because he wasted no time in allowing this big filly to stride. And she's now a one-time winner from eight starts. So congratulations to Vaughan Marshall. Of course, he's got his big horse, Raskelion, coming up a bit later on. They'll be hoping, I'm sure, for that to bounce into the winner's enclosure. I'm going to get you back to the studio. The first jackpot is now underway. Race number six goes off at quarter past three. with uh, Ashton Aries. He's come through and scored again in a top ride on Prince Zambeo. He was sitting in second position for a while. The pace was fairly decent, but uh, when you asked this horse just to quicken away, she actually put the race to bed quite easily. I must actually be honest, I thought I went too soon at the 600 because he gave me a kick instantly then. I thought I just went too soon, but she just kept rolling in front. I'm good one from just a big thing to Mr. Marston Trailers. Yeah, she just kept on finding all the way to the line because nobody really made that much inroad. Yes, yeah, but every time I asked her, she just kept on going. Fantastic stuff. Nice double. Well done. Thank you. Excellent stuff. Ashenary completes the double and Vaughan Marshall's yard. While it's in scintillating form, let's find out about a bit more. He's going to be with Vicky. Thank you very much, Grand Princess of Bayou, or Bayou, shall I rather say. The daughter of William Longsword made it easy work from the front there. Vaughan, well done. Thank you very much, Vicky. No wind, a little bit of a breeze from the, the, the northwest. Yes, <laughs> good wind. Yeah, no, the, the wind certainly helped. And, you know, I thought it was a great ride from Ashton. Um, but, uh, yeah, a lovely win. And good luck to John and Amy. You know, they've been waiting a while for a win. So it's great to have them here and, and win for them. Good luck. Thank you very much. You know. I can uh, welcome up. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> I'll tell you what you can do, you can celebrate. <laughs> well done. Thank you very much. Uh, we've been waiting a while. Uh, her last run didn't pan out for her, unfortunately, but I think Ashton rode a really good race. You know, she, the pacemaker did us a great favour, and we were able to just run off her, and then once she got into the straight, I didn't think that would catch her. At one stage, you thought, is she going to lie down a little bit? You're going through the 300, and she, she just actually found more. Yeah, you know, Vicky, I think she's going to be a much better four-year-old. Um, like a lot of these William Longsword fillies, they take time just to grow into themselves, and I think she's exactly like that. So maybe we'll have a bit of fun with her as a four-year-old. Well, you can celebrate the win today. Well done. Thank you very much. Well done, well done to uh, Mr. and Mrs. Kingsley for the win and uh, Princess of Bayou. Well then, uh, for also not only owning, but also breeding the, the daughter of William Longsword. So look forward to what's to come from her, but it was a good win today.